the cryptocurrency market is looking very very interesting united states inflation is now at 8.5 percent what does this mean for the short and long term of the crypto markets in this video i'll give my overview of what i think is going to happen and i give a price prediction of where i think things are heading but before i get into it please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this so let's look at what market cypher is saying about the bitcoin chart with the weekly candles we're looking at something that honestly looks pretty freaking bearish on a weekly time frame we are actually seeing as of now a blood diamond print on the weekly candle now this has never been printed before even like a weaker bearish signal you can see usually like a red x has like a, a big drop off uh, last time it went from 54k to 30k uh, this went from 55k to about 40k these signals are pretty bearish and this is even stronger However, it hasn't been confirmed as of yet. There's, uh, well, two and a half days left for this to confirm. If it prints, that is worrisome to say the least. And also there's money flow that is curving downwards. Like it's, <laughs> the weekly chart is looking dicey on Bitcoin to say the least. But before I get on with the rest of this video, this video is brought to you by Margex.com. Now Margex is a cryptocurrency exchange that has quite a lot of good things going for it. With derivatives leverage trading, you can make money if the market goes down or up. So if you think the price is going to fall on Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, you can trade on Margex and short it and make money and vice versa and you can even do this with up to 100x leverage if you want to be a complete degen <laughs> and double your money in a second or just lose everything which is an option if you want it margex.com has a really simple and intuitive way of trading very simple for beginners to get into it, it takes like five minutes to set up and start trading this is pretty simple to get a grasp of they also have a market manipulation shield on their charts which is pretty useful and if you want to start trading on margex.com today you can do so by signing up in the link below you get 50 dollars of free trading fees that's pretty nice and also if you deposit over 0.004 bitcoin you get an extra 50 dollars added to your account a nice little bonus but that being said let's get on with the rest of the video the daily chart has a much more positive outlook i was talking on twitter that you know there's a pretty decent chance things are going to go up around this point here around the 38k mark you know you see that negative money flow that is curving upwards and what i predicted would happen did happen there was a, a decent run up and now we've seen a rejection now at this point it doesn't look too bad i'll be honest like the rsi is going downwards it's probably gonna plateau and then we could see another decent entry point as of now i wouldn't enter a long into bitcoin definitely give it a few days or a few weeks before getting into it and see some signs for a decent entry point my prediction is that in the next few days the price is going to go down of bitcoin and in the next few weeks actually my prediction is in like the next 10 days or so we're going to see a correction then maybe you know we can definitely see another run up now on the four hour chart things are looking better like the rsi is rock bottom on market cipher like we could see a decent run up a decent entry point on the four hour time frame usually if you're trading within like a four hour chart it's going to be like one to three weeks you have that trade open so a nice little short term entry that is beginning to form here i i think that if we see like a a confirmation like a momentum wave that goes down and you see that negative money flow starting to curve upwards I might enter a leverage long at that point. The hourly chart is kind of all over the place. Like I, I honestly wouldn't <laughs> exit or enter uh, this chart, to be honest. Now the Ethereum weekly chart is looking a bit better than Bitcoin, but there's something that is kind of uh, scary forming. It almost looks like a head and shoulders is forming on the weekly chart which is definitely a concern is not a good sign a head and shoulders pattern is typically associated with a negative drawdown money flow is also curving downwards but we don't have that blood diamond on the market cipher chart which is good i would say if the ethereum chart is looking better than the bitcoin chart just in like a long-term hold on the daily chart of ethereum we're seeing that money flow curve downwards you know we're going into negative territory likely where we could see another entry point within the next few days and weeks but as of now the rsi needs to calm down go to the bottom and 
you know, print some anchor and trigger waves before I think about entering on the daily chart. With Market Cypher basic strategy, it is quite simple in the fact that you want to buy when the money flows red and sell when it's green. If you just do that uh, quite simply, it's pretty damn profitable. Like, look, red money flow, okay, buy, green, sell, red, buy, green, sell. And when it starts to curve downwards, that's typically when people using the basic strategy will exit. Market Cypher is pretty damn useful in terms of predicting where the markets are going. The four hour chart, it looks like the money flow in the red is quite thin. The RSI is, there's a little something there. There's a little uh, curve upwards, a little momentum going up and it's rock bottom in the green. So it, there's some upside to this. So in terms of like where I think cryptocurrency is going, I think in the long, long term, as in like a year from now, I think all these prices are basically going to be a massive discount. In terms of like where I see cryptocurrency as in Bitcoin and Ethereum going in the next few days and weeks, I think it's going to be going downwards. Um, I would say so just by the way the chart looks on market cipher on like the daily chart the four hour chart I think so and when there's some more bullish signals that are printing as in money flow curving upwards again and the anchor and trigger wave that's when I would enter so if you're looking to deploy some capital into cryptocurrency I would say to myself if I was in that position hold off for a few days a few weeks and then look into it. One thing that is concerning on the Bitcoin chart is that weekly blood diamond on market cipher. That is something that is very rare and not a good sign at all. It hasn't confirmed yet, but it's definitely something that I would be worried about if you're a long-term holder. The inflation stuff with America having 8.5% inflation. It's like all the reasons I got into crypto in 2019 are basically triple the case for crypto is really really strong just logically speaking but that doesn't mean the markets and the price are going to do its own thing i kind of knew things would get really bad with inflation when i bought loads of crypto in 2019 i just knew that governments would screw up cv and it's and it's definitely looking like they're screwing things up 8.5 percent inflation is freaking nuts I don't think US has had inflation like that in, oh geez, what is it? Like a, over a 40 year all time high of inflation in the US. Bad stuff for the American people, people living paycheck to paycheck. Good stuff for people that are actually holding assets such as cryptocurrency. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this.